good successful plant for here and you know, one that can grow here in, in, in our environment that's really closely aligned with the natural scenario here as far as heat, as far as winds and colds and poor soils and water, of course, most importantly. So, of course, our region's best adapted plants are the featured attractions in the preserve's most acclaimed collection. The uh, Mojave Cactus and Succulent Collection definitely is one that we did, you know, have put together and will continue to build over time, but it's uh, the one that we did have accredited and um, set up as the, the national collection of Mojave Cactus and Succulent Plants. And our budding rose garden is becoming just as popular for its beautiful blooms and desert hardy varieties. And we've really expanded that garden now. Uh, it's been in for a year now and uh, we'll be coming into that, that second year. So they've, the ones that we all went in, they were all bare root roses. So they've coming into this second year, I think uh, we're starting to see more maturity on that. We're starting to see some of them that have worked really well and some of them that maybe haven't worked as well. So you know, then we can continue to bring in some new varieties of roses and continue to build that, that collection. But our edible landscape also yields a bumper crop of vegetables and educational opportunities too. I think our, our vegetable garden is, is a big focus for us because that's very popular and, and uh, something that people are very interested in. So we'll really continue to develop that around just making sure that we have good displays of, of vegetables for people to see you know, what's possible to do here and, and how to do it. and and be inspired by that and, and also have programming associated with it. Beginning and accomplished gardeners and everyone in between will find fertile ground for learning in the wide range of our weekend classes. We always start out the first of the year with some type of a pruning clinic just to get your garden ready for when the growth happens. And then we'll also have like a beginning desert gardening class on a lot of people have been transplanted here from other areas and it's much different type of gardening here than it is in other places. And the other one that has been really popular in the last couple of years are soils and how you can build up your soils and why those are so important. Our compost classes have been very popular along with the vermicomposting where you use worms. Along with these classes, we also offer free and informal tours that are guided by whatever's blossoming or interesting to our guests. And during those tours, every Saturday and Sunday, you will either have a master gardener or one of the horticultural uh, people here on staff. We kind of tailor it to who is in the group, but you also get to see the overall gardens and what is actually out in bloom at that time and maybe some different tips on what you can do in your garden as well. Even after hours and armchair gardeners can lay out a fantasy landscape with our online plant guide. So there is a lot of criteria that you can put in there and start looking for, for different, different plants. And so there's lots of ways to glean you know, information from that website by, by using that search engine. Because the well-prepared gardener will make the wisest choices at our big plant sale in March. We have plants that are available only from here because they've been born and raised here on site as well as other distributors but they're typically plants that you would find in the southwest. And we believe these tools that people are given at the preserve will benefit them in gardening as well as life. You know there's so much to learn and that's true. That's the good news, that's the bad news is you never get to the end but that's part of the fun.